I've been scripting in Roblox for quite a while now. I'm actually approaching my 10th year now as a Roblox developer, but I thought that it would be interesting if I tried to script a game in a completely different game engine. I know you all know about Grow a Garden, and I was looking for a challenge. And at the exact moment when I was ready for a challenge, Hytopia challenged me to script Grow a Garden on their platform. Hytopia is basically a new game engine that is Roblox and Minecraft combined. Hytopia is just like Roblox, where you can make your own games and publish them for others to play. And it also has a Minecraft kind of theme to it. It's pretty easy to get started, as they have readable instructions, kind of like how Roblox has documentation. So the first thing for our Grow Our Garden game is that we need to make our own map. So here I am at build.hytopia.com. And honestly, this was really easy and fun to use. Look at all their materials, there's so many options. You basically just pick a material and you can choose a tool from the toolbar below and start building. What I liked a lot was this easy to use floor tool. And watch this, I just have to drag out the area that I want and it'll fill it up. Grow a Garden has a pretty simple map on Roblox, so I think for now I'm just going to try to make it plain grassy. Alright, so now we have draft 1 of our map, let's get to coding. Coding in Hytopia is actually pretty simple. They already have some sample code that we can work with. So the first thing I found was this rocket command, world.chatmanager register command rocket. That basically means register a command called slash rocket. So when a player says slash rocket in chat, get that player and apply an impulse to its entity. And this is actually really similar to how anime dashes work in Roblox, which is a video that I made that you can check out. So I said slash rocket in chat and I basically jumped because the impulse was applied in the y direction. Now since I already know how impulses work in Roblox, it was pretty simple to get it to apply in another direction. And now the rocket command pushes me backward. I was really excited about seeing this work for the first time. Okay, okay. So here, I began messing around with the map editor some more, just to see its capabilities. Hytopia makes it really easy to build with this editor. Alright, now that I know how this thing works, let's start making the actual garden boundaries. And there we go. Now, Roblox Grow a Garden has NPCs that you can talk to in order to buy and sell seeds. Let's see if I can get an NPC to spawn. And they actually had an example of a skeleton in the starter code, so I took it and I put it in my game. And there it is, oh my gosh, it's so big. Oh, I can just push this thing around, that's cool. All right. Now let's get the skeleton near the edge of the map, so it's kind of like grow a garden. It took a few attempts to get the position right, but I got it working. Alrighty, say hi to the skeleton. Let's make the inventory system so that the game keeps track of your seeds. Hytopia actually works really well with Cursor, which is an AI that helps you code. And you can see how it works here. I just tell it what I want and it finds the parts of my code that need to be changed and makes it work. So I wrote some of my own code and then I worked with it to finish the inventory system, which is what you're looking at right now. I added some seeds to it and made it so that you can hover your mouse over dirt and now you can select the seed and click to plant it. And boom! See that? That's the carrot seed that's been planted. I made it so that a stick spawns to show that it's growing. Then I made it so that it grows up from the ground. And then I went crazy and added some questionable plants, like this book and bone. I just wanted to make sure that it worked and after the growth process, it would show the fully grown plant. And now that I know that it's working, I made them harvest actual fruits and vegetables, like this watermelon. Now we need to make it so that it shows the progress of the plant. So I went ahead and scripted this GUI, where if you get near a plant, it shows this progress bar. And once it's at 100%, then the plant is done and ready to harvest. Nice! And then I made it so that if you get close to a finished plant, you can harvest it. And instead of making the skeleton interactable, I decided to just make a simple chat command and some money. 
So now you know how much money you have and you can also buy a plant using slash buy. Everything was going great with the development of this game until we reached the garden ownership stage. So right now, players can plant seeds anywhere, even in gardens that don't belong to them. So how do we fix that? How do we actually detect if a garden belongs to a specific player? Well, here was my first idea. When a player walks near some dirt, let's scan the area to find the surrounding corners. Use those corners to draw a perimeter around the dirt, then let the player click to claim that area and the system assigns that garden to them. It sounds pretty smart, right? Yeah, turns out it wasn't that simple. The system would get confused and think that the empty space between two gardens was also a garden. And sometimes it would detect the wrong shapes, mix up the boundaries, and even place gardens out of order. I tried so many different methods, days of testing, and lots of trial and error. And in the end, the best solution was the simplest one. I literally just placed a diamond block in front of every garden. Now, when a player walks up and clicks claim, the system uses that diamond block to figure out the garden's boundaries based on its position. It draws a perimeter using the dirt around that block, and just like that, we know exactly which garden belongs to which player. Sometimes the cleanest solution is just the one that makes the most sense. But yeah, after that, everything worked. The last part was making them grow offline and save. It probably sounds pretty tough to do, but Hytopia makes saving and loading data pretty simple. And since I already understood how tick works in Roblox, it was pretty simple to make them grow offline. So now, you plant your crops and you can exit the game, and once you come back, the crops are fully ready for harvest. And this is what the final game looks like. A huge thanks to Hytopia for sponsoring this video. If you want to play the Hytopia version of Grow a Garden, I've added a link in the description where you can play it live. And if you liked watching me develop this game and you want to develop a game of your own in Hytopia, you can also join Hytopia by checking out the link that I've added in the description of this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.